In the shadows of ancient forests, where sunlight filtered through the leaves, the story of humanity began with our distant relatives, the early primates. These small, agile creatures lived in the trees, swinging from branch to branch, their lives a dance of survival against predators and nature's challenges. They were the first chapters in our evolutionary tale, setting the stage for the incredible journey that would lead to us, Homo sapiens. Early primates thrived millions of years ago, adapting to their environments with remarkable ingenuity. They developed keen eyesight and grasping hands, allowing them to explore their world and interact with it in new ways. As they evolved, a branch split from their family tree, leading to the emergence of hominins. This crucial divergence marked the beginning of a long and winding path toward becoming human. Australopithecus was among the first hominins, walking on two legs while still clinging to some traits of its primate ancestors. Imagine a creature standing just over three feet tall, with a small brain but a spirit full of curiosity. It roamed the savannas, searching for food and shelter, embodying the struggle of existence. This species, with its unique blend of ape-like and human-like features, thrived for millions of years, marking a critical step in our evolutionary journey. As the climate shifted, new challenges emerged, and so did the next phase of evolution, Homo habilis. Known as handyman, this species was the first to craft tools, shaping stones into weapons and instruments. This ingenuity ignited a spark within early humans, paving the way for advancements that would define our species. Picture early Homo habilis huddled around a fire, their faces illuminated by its flickering light, sharing stories, laughter, and the warmth of community. This moment was not just survival, it was the birth of culture, the beginning of connection. Homo erectus followed, standing taller and exhibiting a larger brain than its predecessors. It was a brave new world for this species, which mastered the art of hunting and gathering. Homo erectus was not merely a survivor, it was a wanderer. With determination, it left Africa, venturing into the unknown, propelled by a desire to discover. Imagine the thrill of encountering new landscapes, the fear of the unknown, and the wonder of exploration. This was the essence of humanity, a drive to seek, to understand, and to adapt. As Homo erectus spread across continents, our story intertwined with the larger narrative of evolution. Each step taken by these early humans was a testament to their resilience and resourcefulness. They learned to adapt to harsh climates and forge connections with one another, laying the groundwork for future civilizations. Their spirit thrived in the face of adversity, echoing through the ages and resonating in our hearts today. The evolution of Homo sapiens marks a significant milestone in this saga. Emerging roughly 300,000 years ago, we began to exhibit distinct anatomical and cognitive traits that set us apart. Our larger brains fueled creativity and innovation, giving rise to art, language, and complex societies. Early Homo sapiens carved symbols on cave walls, expressing their thoughts and emotions in ways that transcended time. Picture the wonder of those first artists, their hands stained with pigments, capturing the essence of their world in vibrant colors. This creative spark ignited a fire within humanity, linking generations through shared stories and experiences. Scientific discoveries continue to shed light on our origins. Fossils unearthed in Africa reveal a rich tapestry of our past, each bone telling a story of struggle, adaptation, and survival. Paleoanthropologists painstakingly piece together our history, tracing the genetic roots of modern humans. Through advanced technologies, scientists have unlocked secrets hidden in our DNA, revealing connections to our ancient ancestors and other hominins like Neanderthals and Denisovans. These discoveries not only enrich our understanding, but also deepen our connection to the very essence of what it means to be human. As Homo sapiens roamed the Earth, they were not alone. Neanderthals, with their robust builds and unique adaptations, shared the landscape. These two species coexisted, their lives intertwined in a complex web of survival and interaction. Picture families gathering around fires, exchanging stories and tools, creating bonds despite their differences. There were moments of cooperation, but also competition for resources. Through archaeological evidence, we can glimpse their shared world, where each species impacted the other's survival. 
Interbreeding between Homo sapiens and Neanderthals left a profound mark on our genetic makeup. Today, a small percentage of our DNA carries traces of this ancient connection, a testament to a time when boundaries blurred between species. The legacy of Neanderthals persists in modern populations, reminding us of our shared heritage. Their strength, adaptability, and cultural practices influenced our own evolution, echoing in our bones and blood. Denisovans, another enigmatic group, further enriched this narrative. Discovered only recently, their remains tell a story of migration and survival in harsh environments. Genetic studies revealed that they, too, interbred with early humans, leaving their imprint on the tapestry of our DNA. Each discovery adds a new layer to our understanding of human history, showing us that our past is not just a linear path, but a complex interplay of lives, experiences, and legacies. Our origins as a species are woven from the stories of these remarkable beings, our ancestors and contemporaries. They faced challenges, celebrated triumphs, and nurtured connections that shaped the world we inhabit today. As we reflect on this journey, we uncover the profound truth that our humanity is not merely defined by the present, but is intricately linked to a past rich with diversity and resilience. In the vast expanse of the Paleolithic era, where the world was a raw, untamed wilderness, early humans carved out a life marked by both struggle and resilience. This period, often referred to as the Old Stone Age, is crucial in understanding our beginnings. The land was filled with both danger and beauty, a constant reminder that survival was never guaranteed. Nomadic bands roamed the earth, moving with the seasons, following the migration of animals, and foraging for wild plants, fruits, and nuts. Each day was a new challenge, an adventure of its own, as these early humans learned to read the land, the sky, and the behaviors of animals. Their lives revolved around the hunt. Picture a group of men and women quietly tracking a herd of mammoths, their hearts pounding with anticipation. They worked as a team, sharing knowledge, skills, and a deep understanding of the environment around them. Hunting was not just about feeding the body, it was about feeding the spirit. Every successful hunt brought joy, relief, and a sense of accomplishment, binding them together in a shared purpose. The tools they crafted, sharp stones fashioned into blades, sturdy spears, and simple bows, were not merely instruments but extensions of their will to survive. With these tools in hand, they faced down predators, harvested food, and built shelters from the elements. Fire, the glowing heart of their camp, was both a lifeline and a sacred bond. It provided warmth and protection, a place for stories and laughter, a gathering spot that turned cold nights into shared memories. Language emerged as a powerful tool, allowing them to communicate, share knowledge, and build bonds. It was in the whispers around the fire that stories were born, tales of bravery, caution, love, and loss. Over time, these spoken words evolved, becoming rich and complex, echoing the thoughts and emotions of early humans. They began to express themselves through art, creating stunning cave paintings that captured not just the animals they hunted, but their dreams, fears, and connections to the world around them. Imagine standing before those ancient drawings, your heart racing as you realize that the hands that painted them were once filled with life and emotion, reaching out across millennia. The painted walls spoke of their lives and offered glimpses into their beliefs and hopes. Rituals began to take shape as early humans sought to make sense of the world around them. They honored spirits of the animals they hunted, performing dances and creating symbols that carried deep meanings. These rituals were their way of understanding life and death, of connecting to something larger than themselves. Oral traditions carried their wisdom through generations, weaving a tapestry of shared identity and culture. Each tale told around the fire became a thread in the fabric of their community, binding them through laughter and tears. Social structures in these hunter-gatherer bands were often egalitarian. There was no one leader, no king or queen. Instead, everyone had a role, a place, and a voice. Men and women shared responsibilities, each contributing to the survival of the group. Men often took on the role of hunters, but women were just as vital, gathering fruits, nuts, and roots, and sharing their knowledge of the land. This division of labor was flexible, with tasks shifting based on circumstances and skills. 
When food was scarce, women might hunt alongside men, or men might gather, each member stepping up to ensure the survival of their community. Decisions were made collectively, reflecting a shared understanding that the strength of the group lay in unity and cooperation. Conflict, too, was a part of their lives. Disagreements arose, and tensions flared, but they had their ways of resolving these conflicts. Discussions by the fire, where voices rose and fell like the flames, were central to their decision-making processes. Elders often guided these discussions, their experience lending wisdom to the group. In those moments, they learned that survival required not just strength and skill, but understanding, compassion, and the ability to forgive. As these early humans honed their skills, their creativity blossomed in remarkable ways. The Oldowan and Ashulian cultures represent significant milestones in their tool-making journey. These tools were not just utilitarian objects, they reflected innovation, intelligence, and a desire to overcome obstacles. Imagine a small child watching in awe as a parent expertly shapes a rough stone into a sharp edge, instilling in them a sense of wonder about the world. Each tool was a story, a lesson in resourcefulness, and a testament to their evolving understanding of their environment. Art became a vital expression of their humanity. The Venus figurines, small carvings representing female forms, spoke volumes about their beliefs, possibly symbolizing fertility, beauty, or the divine feminine. These early artists poured their hearts into their creations, leaving behind echoes of their lives that continue to resonate today. The cave paintings, filled with vibrant colors and dynamic figures, told stories of hunts, rituals, and life itself. Standing before these ancient images, one can almost hear the whispers of the past, the joy of the hunt, the fear of the predator, the hope for a good harvest. In those dark caves, illuminated only by flickering torchlight, these early humans etched their existence into the fabric of time. Their creations were not merely art, they were expressions of spirituality, identity, and connection. Each brushstroke, each carving, was a piece of their soul, a desire to be remembered. This desire echoes through the ages, reminding us that the heartbeat of humanity has always been intertwined with creativity, connection, and the quest for meaning in a vast and often uncertain world. In this raw, vibrant era of survival, the foundations of humanity were built on the strengths of community, the power of language, and the beauty of art. Each moment was filled with life and emotion, weaving a rich tapestry of experiences that continues to resonate with us today. These early hunter-gatherers remind us that the essence of being human is found not just in our advancements, but in our shared struggles, our connections to one another, and the stories that bind us across time. As the last ice age faded, the world began to transform. Vast glaciers melted, giving way to rich, fertile landscapes brimming with life. The air was filled with the scent of blooming flowers and the sounds of flowing rivers, an orchestra of nature signaling a new beginning. Early humans stood on the brink of a monumental shift, one that would alter the course of history forever. This was the dawn of the agricultural revolution, a time when foraging gave way to farming and the seeds of civilization were sown. In the fertile valleys of the Fertile Crescent, a region known for its abundance, small groups of foragers began to settle. No longer did they need to roam the land in search of food. Instead, they discovered the incredible power of planting seeds, nurturing crops, and domesticating animals. Wheat, rice, maize, cattle, and goats became their allies, providing nourishment and companionship. Each grain sown into the earth represented hope, a promise of sustenance for their families. Imagine the joy of a mother watching her children play in the fields as they harvested the bounty of their labor, laughter mingling with the rustling leaves, creating a symphony of life. As these early agricultural societies flourished, the concept of home transformed. The nomadic lifestyle that once defined their existence shifted dramatically. Permanent settlements emerged, marked by sturdy homes and communal spaces. Villages like Jericho and Catalhoyuk sprouted like wildflowers, becoming vibrant hubs of life. Families gathered in these newfound spaces, sharing meals and stories, creating bonds that transcended generations. The warmth of a fire flickering in the center of the village signified not just comfort, but also a place where dreams took root and futures were imagined. 
This shift to sedentary life brought about remarkable changes. The population began to grow, fueled by the abundance of food and the security of home. Children were born into a world rich with possibilities, their laughter echoing in the fields. As families expanded, so did the social structures around them. The simple relationships of foraging bands evolved into complex networks, creating a tapestry of interactions that laid the foundation for future societies. Neighbors became friends, and friendships morphed into alliances, weaving a rich social fabric that celebrated the joys and challenges of communal living. Technological innovations flourished in this new world of agriculture. Early humans became skilled artisans, crafting pottery that would hold their precious grains and weaving textiles that adorned their homes. The invention of pottery was revolutionary, transforming the way they stored food and cooked meals. Each pot shaped by loving hands told a story, reflecting the artistry and creativity of its maker. Imagine the pride of a potter presenting their latest creation, a beautifully decorated vessel that would serve not just as a container, but as a symbol of their identity. Irrigation systems emerged as farmers sought to harness the power of water to nurture their crops. Canals and ditches were dug, channeling life-giving water to parched fields, enabling them to cultivate larger plots of land. The earth responded in kind, yielding crops that flourished under the care of dedicated hands. Picture the satisfaction of a farmer standing in the midst of golden fields, the sun setting behind them, casting a warm glow over their hard-earned bounty. This was more than just farming, it was an expression of devotion, a testament to their connection with the land. As these villages grew, so did social stratification. The simplicity of egalitarian bands gave way to a more complex hierarchy. Leaders emerged, their authority often stemming from their ability to provide and protect. Elders were revered for their wisdom, and individuals with specialized skills gained recognition within the community. The division of labor became more pronounced, some focused on agriculture, while others honed their crafts, creating a rich tapestry of talents and trades. This growing complexity, while providing new opportunities, also sparked challenges. The delicate balance of communal living began to shift as power dynamics changed. With the rise of political elites and religious authority, the intricate web of human connections grew more complex. Leaders made decisions that affected entire communities, while religious figures provided guidance, helping people make sense of their place in this evolving world. The spiritual and political realms intertwined, creating a rich tapestry of belief and governance. Imagine the vibrant festivals celebrating the harvest, where the community came together to honor their gods, their leaders, and the fruits of their labor. Each gathering was a reminder of the power of unity, a celebration of life and its many blessings. Trade and exchange flourished, connecting distant communities and expanding their horizons. Goods were bartered, ideas were shared, and cultures blended in a dance of collaboration and creativity. The marketplace became a bustling hub of life, where strangers exchanged stories along with their wares. Picture the excitement in the air as people gathered, laughter mingling with the sound of coins clinking, creating an atmosphere charged with possibility and connection. Through trade, these early societies began to establish their identities, forging links that would resonate through the ages. In this fertile period of history, the agricultural revolution marked a turning point, shifting humanity from the uncertainty of foraging to the stability of farming. This transformation was more than just about food, it was about connection, creativity, and the very essence of what it means to be human. The bonds forged in these villages laid the groundwork for future civilizations, echoing the stories of struggle and triumph that define our shared humanity today. The seeds planted during this time continue to bear fruit, reminding us of our roots and the enduring spirit that has driven us forward through the ages. In the cradle of human history, civilizations began to emerge, shaping the lives of people in ways that still resonate today. This was a time when humanity transitioned from small, wandering groups to thriving societies marked by cities, complex governance, and cultural achievements. What does it mean to be part of a civilization? It means living in cities bustling with life, writing down thoughts and laws, and building monumental structures that reach for the heavens. 
Each civilization brought forth unique characteristics that defined them, trade networks connecting distant lands, powerful rulers governing their people, and the creation of art that would echo through the ages. Mesopotamia, often called the cradle of civilization, stands as a testament to human ingenuity. Here, in the land between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, the Sumerians, Akkadians, and Babylonians laid the foundations of urban life. The city-states of this region blossomed, each one a center of activity filled with traders, farmers, and artisans. Imagine standing in the bustling streets of UR, where merchants display their wares, and the air is filled with the sounds of laughter and bargaining. The invention of writing, cuneiform, marked a revolutionary step for humankind, allowing people to document their stories, laws, and transactions. The Code of Hammurabi, inscribed on stone, represented not just rules, but a shared understanding of justice and order. Picture the solemnity of the moment as a scribe carefully etched these laws, laying down the principles that would guide their society. Monumental architecture defined Mesopotamia's landscape. Ziggurats towered over the cities, massive structures built to honor the gods. Each step taken toward the temple was a step toward the divine, a connection between the earth and the heavens. The sight of these grand edifices must have filled the hearts of the people with a sense of awe, pride, and devotion. In this land, religion intertwined with kingship. Rulers were seen as chosen by the gods, tasked with maintaining order and protecting their people. Yet, with power came warfare, as city-states vied for dominance, leaving behind stories of valor and loss. To the southwest, ancient Egypt rose as a beacon of civilization, known as the land of the pharaohs. The unification of Upper and Lower Egypt marked the beginning of a dynastic era filled with remarkable achievements. Pharaohs, regarded as divine rulers, shaped their society with their visions. Religion played a pivotal role in daily life, influencing everything from agriculture to architecture. The pyramids, those colossal structures, stand as a testament to human ambition and ingenuity. Each stone laid was a promise of eternity, a doorway to the afterlife that the Egyptians believed awaited them. Imagine the families gathered near the construction sites, their hearts swelling with pride as they watched the laborers work tirelessly, their efforts honoring both the living and the dead. Temples dedicated to various deities were scattered across the landscape, serving as centers for worship and community. The old and new kingdoms of Egypt witnessed technological and artistic marvels that captured the imagination. Elaborate paintings adorned the walls of tombs, telling stories of the afterlife, while intricate sculptures celebrated the gods and the pharaohs. Each brushstroke and chisel mark represented the beliefs, aspirations, and dreams of a society dedicated to the pursuit of beauty and meaning. To the east, the Indus Valley Civilization, with its cities of Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro, stood as an ancient enigma, a mystery waiting to be unraveled. These cities were marvels of urban planning, showcasing sophisticated drainage systems and organized streets. Imagine walking through the neatly laid out streets, where houses were made of baked bricks, each one a home filled with life and warmth. Yet, despite their advanced society, much about the Indus Valley remains shrouded in mystery, particularly their script, which has yet to be deciphered. The symbols etched on seals and pottery whisper secrets of a culture that once thrived, leaving us to ponder their stories and significance. Trade networks linked the Indus Valley with Mesopotamia and beyond, creating a vibrant exchange of goods and ideas. Artifacts from distant lands filled their markets, each item a testament to the connections formed across vast distances. Picture the lively exchanges taking place as merchants from different cultures shared not only their goods, but their stories and traditions. The flow of trade was not just about commerce, it was about connection, fostering relationships that would bridge the gaps between peoples. In these early civilizations, monumental achievements in architecture, governance, and culture echoed the creativity and resilience of humankind. They faced challenges and triumphs, weaving together the stories of their people. As we reflect on their lives, we uncover the threads that connect us all, our shared aspirations for community, understanding, and a better future. Each civilization contributed to the tapestry of human history, their legacies serving as reminders of our collective journey toward knowledge, innovation, and the enduring quest for meaning in an ever-changing world. 
In a time long ago, the world was transforming in ways that would shape human destiny. The Bronze Age marked a pivotal moment where the discovery of metallurgy ignited the flames of innovation. As skilled hands began to mold copper and tin into bronze, the power of metal spread like wildfire. This new age brought forth tools and weapons that changed everything. The clang of metal echoed in the air, symbolizing progress and strength. Suddenly, societies could farm more efficiently, protect themselves from invaders, and forge ahead into a future filled with possibilities. The age of metal was not just a technological revolution, it was the birth of empires. As bronze tools became commonplace, the first empires rose from the dust of ancient lands. The Akkadian Empire, forged under the ambitious ruler Sargon, emerged as a formidable power, uniting various city-states and stretching its influence far and wide. Picture the vibrant marketplaces of Akkad, filled with traders from distant lands, their goods reflecting the richness of cultures intertwining. The Egyptian Empire, with its majestic pyramids and powerful pharaohs, was another titan of this era, commanding respect and awe. The Hittite Kingdom, rising in Anatolia, showcased the expanding reach of civilization, each empire fueled by the interplay of trade, warfare, and diplomacy. Trade routes blossomed, linking these great empires and allowing them to share resources and ideas. Goods flowed from one land to another, creating a tapestry of connections that united distant peoples. Picture the excitement in the air as merchants traveled, carrying precious metals, textiles, and spices across vast distances. Each exchange represented more than mere commerce. It was a blending of cultures, a celebration of human ingenuity and collaboration. Yet, with power came conflict. Empires clashed on battlefields, and the sounds of war echoed across the lands. Leaders sought to expand their territories, leaving behind tales of bravery and sacrifice. Every victory and defeat shaped the destinies of nations, forging a history filled with stories of human struggle and triumph. The written word emerged as a powerful tool, forever altering the course of human civilization. Early writing systems like cuneiform in Mesopotamia, hieroglyphs in Egypt, and the mysterious Indus script revolutionized communication. Scribes, the guardians of knowledge, carefully etched symbols onto clay tablets and papyrus, weaving together the fabric of society. Imagine the meticulous work of a scribe, their hands moving gracefully over the surface as they recorded the laws, stories, and thoughts of their people. With the advent of writing, history began to take shape, allowing generations to share their experiences and learn from one another. Writing became a bridge between the past and the future, an invaluable resource for governance, culture, and identity. In every corner of these early civilizations, religion played a crucial role. The relationship between religion and politics was intricate, as leaders often claimed divine right. Polytheism flourished, with pantheons of gods and goddesses governing the lives of the people. In Mesopotamia, Egyptians, and the Indus Valley, each culture crafted rich mythologies filled with creation stories and rituals that defined their existence. Picture a bustling temple filled with worshippers, their voices rising in prayer as they sought favor from the gods. The rituals, often elaborate and heartfelt, connected people to something greater than themselves, instilling a sense of purpose and community. Yet, Despite the achievements of these early civilizations, the tides of fortune began to shift. The Bronze Age civilizations faced challenges that would lead to their collapse. Scholars proposed various theories. Climate change brought droughts that decimated crops. Invasions from nomadic tribes threatened stability. And economic decline eroded the foundations of once thriving empires. The echoes of past triumphs began to fade, replaced by uncertainty and fear. Picture the once bustling streets of a great city falling silent, its inhabitants grappling with the harsh realities of a world that was changing too quickly. As some empires crumbled, new power centers began to rise. Egypt's new kingdom emerged from the ashes, reasserting its dominance, while the Assyrians carved out an empire marked by strength and ruthlessness. The Mediterranean region, teeming with potential, became a melting pot of cultures and ideas. These transitions were filled with both hope and despair as humanity struggled to adapt to an ever-changing world. Yet, even in the face of collapse, 
the legacies left behind by early civilizations endured. Their innovations in governance, architecture, and art continue to inspire future generations, echoing through time. The Bronze Age and the rise of empires represent a monumental chapter in human history. It was a time of incredible achievements and profound challenges, where the written word became a powerful tool that changed lives forever. Each civilization, with its unique stories, contributed to the rich tapestry of our shared past. The echoes of their triumphs and tribulations remind us of the resilience of the human spirit. Even as empires rise and fall, the dreams and aspirations of humanity continue to shape the world we live in today. The birth of empires was not just about conquest, it was about the very essence of what it means to be human, our desire to connect, to create, and to leave a lasting mark on the world.